Hi, I'm Sonia and welcome to my channel, Life Over 60. My surroundings look a little bit different today and that's because I am in Florida, taking a break from the cold um, that we have at home and all the snow that we have at home. I mean, I love, I love winter, but I, I find that as I'm getting older, I'm less tolerant of the cold. And sometimes it's not necessarily the cold weather, it's the nastiness that comes with it. If it was just snowing, that would be fine. But when you get snow and then freezing rain and then rain and then snow again, it just becomes yucky. <laughs> so I prefer to be where the sunshine is and the warmth. At any rate, in today's video, I am going to be testing yet another Nutrius product. And like all the other Nutrius products that I've seen, they're all simply called Brazilian body butter. Now I've done uh, two videos, which I'll put the link to those below. I tested the yellow lidded Nutrius with the San De Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. And then the one with the purple lid that is also pretty darn close to the other uh, Sal de Janeiro product. Now today, I'm going to put the Nutrius up against yet another Sal de Janeiro product called the Boom Dia Bright Cream. But before I get into, you know, giving you my thoughts on these two creams, I was curious about this Nutrius company and where 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 is it and does it make other products when i google nutrius all that all that comes up all that i see is the brazilian body butter just where you can buy it i don't see anything in terms of a website for nutrius that might list all of the products or where you could even buy their products so it's a bit of a mystery to me and then i noticed on the back of the uh, shipping label or, or the packaging that this comes in it says that it's manufactured by a company called Apollo Beauty and Health. I then decided well let me google Apollo Beauty and Health and see if I can find this product or other products on their website but it seems that this company is a company that will formulate different products. So I suppose if somebody has a list of ingredients or formulation, they take it to this company who will formulate it and I guess package it. I'm not sure if they do the packaging or if they just manufacture the product, but apparently they do, um, this Apollo company does things for, um, you know, I guess like private label, you know, for like Walmart, Target. So like the Walmart brand, I guess or a Target brand, and then I imagine those products are probably very similar to a name brand type product. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that, or I'll next time I'm in Walmart or Target, I'll take a look and see if I can find any products that have been manufactured by Apollo Beauty and Health, and then see if it's related or if it's like a higher name brand product curious. Um, I always like finding out about products that are similar in ingredients, maybe not the exact same, but come at sometimes a fraction of the price. So all that said, let's take a look at these two products. So both, both of these products, again, like all the Nutrius and the comparisons I've done to the um, Sal de Janeiro, they have the exact key ingredients, I would say, although they don't have all of the exact ingredients, but the main, main ingredients are in both products. And for the, for these products, what you have are, you've got some vitamin C, uh, which is a great antioxidant, great for brightening the skin. You've got a number of, they call like fruit um, extracts. You have banana, pulp, mango, um, and, and again, these fruit extracts are great for exfoliating the skin, for helping uh, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, great for elasticity. You also have some coconut oil, um, which 
can be sensitive. Some people might be sensitive to coconut oil and you also have some cacao um, uh, oil, which is great for, you know, softening your skin. And you do have fragrance, just like all of the Nutrius products or the um, Sol de Janeiro, there is some fragrance. So if you're particularly sensitive to fragrance, these may not be the product for you. But when I look at the product, so take a look at the, the Nutrius. And it, it does have a scent, but it it's super mild, super mild. Um, and like when I smell both of them, to me, they smell exactly the same, exactly the same. Now for texture, so this one, I'll just put it here like on my arm. And like it really absorbs nicely into the skin. It really, really absorbs quickly. And you really can't really smell that. So now the Nutrius, what's it like? So again, it absorbs really super well into the skin. It's really feels soft. It feels really, really nice on, on, uh, on my skin. Now these body cream, to me, these are body creams, even though the ingredients say they're going to help reduce, you know, the look of fine lines and wrinkles or improve elasticity. Okay, well, maybe I don't have li fine lines and wrinkles on like my body, but the skin does start to get looser and it gets dry. So having a, a really nice moisturizing cream for the body is really nice. And if it's got some good properties in it, all the better. So, I mean, I suppose there's nothing wrong with using this as a moisturizer for your face, um, be, you know, because of the, uh, you know, the uh, anti-aging ingredients that it has, like I say, with the vitamin C, the all of the, the fruit extracts, um, cocoa butter, the coconut oil, like it's, it's really nice product. Now, would I purchase this one again? Uh, no. <laughs> And the reason is, not that it's not a great product, it is, but cost-wise, this small little jar cost me $30, whereas two of these cost me $25. So that works out to about $2 an ounce for this and $6 an ounce for this. I I have to say, I like these Nutrius products. Um, I'm just... As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm just kind of curious about this company or are they just going to be steadfastly <laughs> pretty much duping the Sal de Janeiro products? I'll be curious to see if there's any more that come out. And if anybody out there has ever seen any others, let me know because that's how I found out about this one. One of the, one of the, my viewers asked me to, you know, to do a uh, review of this product and it was only coming down here to Florida that I was able to purchase it because it wasn't available at my, I got it at Costco and it wasn't available at my Costco in, in Canada. So there you have it. Another uh, video comparing two products. If you like the video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I I'm aiming to increase the number of videos that I produce and I'm always on the lookout for doing product uh, reviews, product comparisons. So if there's a particular product you'd like me to review, I'd be happy to, uh, to look into that. Until next time, you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.